Hello, I'm Bob Ross, and I'd like to welcome you. So I tell you what, let's get started. Let's start with a little two inch brush and a touch of the alizarin crimson. Pull a little paint out, tap the bristles firmly to assure a nice even distribution of paint all the way through the bristles. And shoot with that, I think we about have a finished painting. It's that easy. <laughs> Welcome back once again to another episode of Box Hype. Today I'm going to open up uh, my very first Spastic Collectibles Mystery Box. There could be up to four uh, pops in this box. Uh, looks like there probably are four, judging by the size. I have just been dying to break this open and see what I have here. Some of the top grail possibilities for this box include a really cool Marty McFly uh, with his radiation suit on from Back to the Future. Uh, there's the glow in the dark skeleton chase. Uh, a Bane figure, uh, Indiana Jones, which I would love to have the regular Indiana Jones. I've got the 10 inch, which is just incredible, and this one would be great. Uh, there's a couple of the Slim Clowns, uh, Stonekeeper, there's a Thor from Avengers, Rex the Dinosaur from Toy Story, uh, let's see, Cursed Barbosa, a uh, really cool one from Pirates of the Caribbean, or Caribbean. There's a Chunk from the Goonies. I would love to have a Goonies set. That would be fantastic. And a Robocop. So, who knows what we're gonna get here, but let's just dig in and see. Sneak peek. All right. Something just popped out here. Try not to take a peek. There's the Spastic Collectibles sticker. Fun, I enjoy trying a new mystery box. All right, first one up is Venom, Venomized Black Panther. Oh, that's cool. It's got the overseas special edition sticker. It's a nice looking pop. Box is in great shape. And I don't have that one. Even better. Next up. Oh, Cyberpunk V Female. I don't know anything about this one. I haven't played Cyberpunk yet. I plan to. Looks awesome. Just haven't done it. But this is the V Female Pop 591 Cyberpunk. Again, the box is just in great condition. So, well, there's one in a pop protector. Not a stat, but a saw protector. All right, next up. Oh, Stretch Armstrong. I thought that was Vault Boy without a shirt on for a minute from Fallout. It looks just like him in the face. Good old Stretch Armstrong. I've seen this one on other people's videos. <laughs> I remember having one of these as a kid, I think. <laughs> All right. Last up in the pop protector. Naruto Six Path Special Edition Overseas. Is it Naruto or Naruto? I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. It's pretty cool looking. I think I've seen this one before somewhere. Nice. Let's look up some values on these and see how I did. This was a uh, $60 mystery box. It was about $10 shipping, so I guess I could say $70 was shipping. Hopefully, I got my money's worth. I think I'll do these in the order I pulled them. All right, pop price guide couldn't find this one, or I wasn't typing something right, but I'm just gonna scan it and see what we get here. There we go, estimated value of $29. Oh, that's not bad. That's half the value of the box right there in one pop. This one didn't even have a uh, protector on it. So next up, I'm gonna do Stretch Armstrong. All right, Stretch Armstrong comes up at nine bucks. About what I expected. Let's see what V female is worth. It's probably just a basic uh, common value. $13, a little bit higher than I thought, not too bad. And last one, Naruto Six Path Special Edition one, $27. Not bad. 
I'd say I made my money back on this box for sure. That comes out to $78. I definitely got my money back with shipping and eight extra dollars. So not bad at all. This was a successful box. I'm still waiting for the day to hit a grill though. When I get a hard stack for the first time, that's going to be an exciting moment. But this is today's finds. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and have a great day. I will shake it off and then <laughs> just beat the devil out of it.